What's going through your head as that kick spiraling towards the, the field goal? <laughs> it was crazy. Um, obviously, we knew it had the distance. He just kicked, the, I think, the 60-yarder before. Um, knew it was a little bit left. I don't really watch kicks often, but I watched that one as it was kicked. <clears throat> hit off the left. Hit, I think hit off the bottom of it. And then from our view, we couldn't tell if it was behind it or in front of it until, you know, it got to the crossbar. But, um, you know, it bounced our way this time. Uh, you were taking off the field for a couple of snaps. How are you feeling? I feel good. You know, I got my nose hit um, last game. Got a hit again. Sucks. But um, it's part of the game. A veteran backup like Dalton, what does he bring in terms of just his experience and maybe a different challenge than a different backup? Yeah, you know, I think his experience, like you said, you know, um, he can attack any game plan and knows, knows what he's doing. Um, he's been in every situation there is in football, um, knows where his guys are, his targets are on the field, can read coverages. Um, like I said, the guy's been doing it for a long time. I played against him numerous times, and he's a good player. Eric, how important is it to have sort of resilient back-to-back -back wins this early in the season, right, weeks three and four? It's huge. You know, I think obviously uh, across the league, you have people who are kind of figuring out their, their rosters and their team and their identities, including us, you know, and, um, you know, it, it's good to know that, you know, when our back's against the wall, um, when, when it's a tight game like this, we're on the road in London, um, we, can, we can pull through and, and guys, guys are, are confident in, in, in that as well. I spoke to coach about this. How difficult does it make it as a defense when you're coming up against a kicker who can send it home from 60-odd yards and makes that field goal range so much longer? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Obviously, our, our goal is to stop them at every, at every, uh, every down, um, essentially. But, um, you know, a lot of people get paid in this league. And, you know, he, got paid, he gets paid for a reason. Uh, I think that was a, that was a franchise record against us um, as far as the length of the field goal. Um, and he almost, broke, he almost broke his own record during the game as well. You came over five years ago. Uh, how different or same as this experience? Does that did that one help you in any way prepare for this one? Uh, a little bit, you know. Um, we we prepared a little bit different uh, differently as a team, um, but I think I thought our plan was great. You know, I think I think we executed it. Everybody was bought in. Um, you know, I felt I felt great. I felt ready to go for the game. I didn't feel tired at all. Uh, but uh, you know, I think that just. From a, from a fan's perspective, you know, we, we knew that it was going to be kind of a mixed fan, you know, not really a home ground for anybody. Uh, but the stadium was beautiful. Um, the stadium was beautiful, and, um, you know, I'm looking back to come, come watch a real football match here. What specifically was unique about your plan coming in Friday leading up to kickoff and obviously the game? You know, um, you know a lot of times teams leave earlier to go to London. Um, we left a little late. We got a lot of our work done um, in Minnesota, which is, you know, I guess a little bit controversial in, in some people's eyes. Some teams do it differently. But um, I think, like I said, we, we had a plan. We, we, uh, we attacked it, and everybody was ready to go. What's the understanding in general over in the States now about the, the, the knowledge and, and understanding of the game here? Are, are generally players aware that there is that knowledge base here among the, the British fans? Yeah, I mean, I think that it's just great that we, you know, we can come over here and share our love for the game. Um, obviously, there's going to be some, some challenges. You know, uh, the travel's pretty far, um, but uh, it's been a good experience so far. Eric, Vikings are the only uh, NFL team to win in all three London venues, Twickenham, Wembley, and Tottenham. Does that mean anything to you? It's pretty cool. I mean, I haven't played in two of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's, uh, it's cool. It's dope. Eric, Coach O'Connell said that uh, Lewis Seen has got a fractured leg. Yeah. Uh, tell me how important his loss will be on the team, not only as a player, but also as, uh, as a person. Yeah, um, unfortunately, that's, the, that's the, probably the worst part of the game. We all know that. Um, He's been he's been grinding, you know. Um, it's 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 hard enough as a rookie as it is. Uh, you know, he's been he showed up, he's worked hard. Um, you know, he's made an impact for us, and uh, he made an impact around the, the guys around the locker room. Uh, we all love him. Uh, I love his personality. He's a great guy at the end of the day, and um, hate to see that happen. Everybody was everybody was pretty devastated, um, but in the same breath, uh, you know, we we, we want to get out there and go get that win for him as well. You know, uh, it sucks watching that man. It sucks it sucks coming off the field and and and. and you know what's you kind of know what's going on. Um, it's not good. Time for two more for Eric. What makes Olave so good? Like the young players creating separation, making big plays throughout this game. Uh, you know, there's 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 uh, there's there's there's, people, there's aspects to each each person's game that uh, makes everyone individually special. Um, you know, things that I do different than other linebackers around the league. Um, what he does, you know, I think it's obviously early in his career. Um, we're we're going to see what he really specializes in. Uh, you know, I think it's we're four games in. They're starting. They're starting to know he's a guy. Uh, we 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 knew he was a guy coming into this. 
Um, but I think it's too early to tell still. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what kind of player he is. See how clutch he he he, he continues to be. And you got to stack them in this league. You got to you got to be consistent every week. You know to be great. So good luck to him. Eric, how are you feeling about the team and the division in general now? Given your start, you obviously had the good two good division wins, and now this tough one on the road and three and one. It's, how, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. You know, uh, it's never going to be easy. I, if, I, if I've known, if, I, if I've learned one thing about the NFL, it's it's never over. You know, until it's over, um, games are going to be close. They're going to come down to field goals often, um, and. It's about it's about those last those 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 important drives you know whether it's the end of the um, second quarter end of the fourth quarter um, big third downs you know what I mean um, we got we got to get off the field as well so you know there's a lot of things to learn from this game um, you know especially on defense I feel like we have so much room to, to keep improving and doing better but um, as far as how our energy is on the sideline you know we're we're really on we're really clicking together and we're really uh, trying to get this this job done thank you all right take it easy.